welcome back to my channel this is Karina and today I'm so excited this is such a highly requested video to do my skirts collection today we're gonna be trying on all the skirts that I have in my closet I don't even know how many there are I just know that there's a lot um, but let's do this and count it together with me as we try it on one by one I will be putting a number at the corner here so every time I wear a skirt you guys can reference that number to the description box where the skirt will be linked if the skirt has been sold out or I got it in like another country I will try to find something similar so yeah make sure you check the description box before I start <laughs> showing my outfit for the day it's just like party at the top Sweating at the bottom. Let's start with one of my favorite types of skirt ever, the plaid skirts. First up, we have this real. What's this so damn wrinkly on here? Oh, you guys, I should have totally steamed this. But it actually doesn't look that wrinkled when you try it on because, like, you know, like your legs and your hips will like stretch the skirt. This is from Brandy Melville. I got it about like two to three years ago, I believe. I think they still have this on their side, so I'm gonna try my best to link it. Um, this is one of my most popular skirts. It does have two slits on the bottom here, and I wore it in this IG picture. I don't know what size this is. I think all Brandy skirts are one size fits all. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's just the way they run their business is a little bit WTF to me and I think I'm just one of the lucky ones who are able to wear this another plaid skirt this one's kind of like a crisscross pattern I featured this in my latest Shein haul it is rather thin so the material used is kind of like a fuzzy felt almost material from the outside not lined on the inside doesn't have any stretch the two sides are kind of weird and like it's kind of like scrunchy looking on both sides also no elasticity but at least there's a range of sizes, so I got the smallest size, which is extra small. <gasps> okay, next up I have these two skirts. Oh my god, these two are like my babies. They're essentially the same style, just different colors, and they're also like a really fuzzy like material, and it's so easy to wear. It is lined on the inside, and what I really like about this is that the material is really thick, but it still retains its layer structure honestly hands down one of my favorite favorite skirts to wear in the fall and winter time so the story of these skirts is that i actually had them in my store i actually have my own online brand those of you who have known me for a super long time and you're one of the ogs that go way back you know that i used to have an online store i don't anymore the store has been sold i'm not affiliated with that anymore am i breaking out of a rash again <gasps> yes i'm rashing up again oh my god okay if you haven't seen my get to know me video go see it because I explain why I break out into rashes when I'm talking in front of the camera. Thank God I have my hair to hide today. <laughs> so I did close down the shop, but so many, so many people actually reached out to me to say that they really missed the skirts I had in my shop. So I reached out to my supplier and I brought these back. So now you can actually get these on my blog, which is KarinaMango.com. Um, on there, you can also shop my closet pieces. So these are all clothes that I maybe tried on for like once or twice. Um, a lot of them still have tags attached to them, so they're perfectly new. And they also have these skirts. Oh, and the Chanel necklace that I'm wearing too. Another plaid skirt from Yes Style. This one is a little bit more subtle. You can't really see the plaid until you go up really close to it. It does have one side slit, and I also think it's really easy to pair with anything essentially in the fall and winter time even in the summer another one of my favorite plaid skirts i got from yes style this one is almost identical to the vintage burberry skirts that are going for like hundreds of dollars of course if you're a loyal fan of burberry and you really want to support the brand by all means go for the real thing but this is a great dupe for those of you who are on a budget but still want to get that like burberry-esque look the only thing about yes style is that it can be incredibly difficult to shop at because a lot of the details and the pictures and like the description stuff are all in Chinese. I can read because I'm Chinese, but I imagine for a lot of people who don't read Chinese, it can be very, very difficult to navigate. And the drop down menu can be really confusing at times. And a lot of times they'll like go out of stock and you don't know when they're going to be back. So this one is currently out of stock, but hopefully they bring it back soon. Finally, a non-cream colored plaid skirt. This one is a really, really Christmassy, really soft, fuzzy plaid skirt. I call this my Rachel Green skirt because I feel like it's almost identical to what she was wearing. I don't remember where I got this. I think it's from Romwe. Um, I'm not 100% sure because you know like Romwe doesn't really put their tags inside. I just think it's a really cute skirt for like the holidays or even like Christmas even. This one is one of like my pleated plaid skirt collection. So I wasn't sure whether I should include this in my plaid skirt section or the pleated skirt section. I'm gonna have to pleat the skirt section soon. This one's also from Yes Style. Don't know if they still carry it. We'll try to find the link and put it down below. I'm wearing a size small, but it's pretty small on me. Um, I think it's due to the famous Asian sizes going on. People are always really shocked when I tell 
tell them that my fleece legging from Yastel is like a size extra large <laughs> because that's just how it works in Asia okay I'm considered like a giant in Asia because of my height I'm 5'7 so a lot of times I need to like really get things in like medium or sometimes even large for it to like fit me and um, this one I got a size small and it like barely fits my hips so definitely look into sizing up and make sure you read the measurements like make sure you measure yourself and then compare your measurements to the size and see what size you actually are according to the measurements don't go for your usual like north american sizes flare plaid skirt from forever 21 this one i also got a few years back i don't think they have it anymore it's just a really um, stretchy basic kind of like gray plaid skirt wore in this picture right here this was the time that like forever 21 stuff were actually cute and like a good quality surprisingly good quality like no threads are loose like it's just everything is just in its place so I have another brand new skirt here this is exactly the same pattern as the first one here so I believe they just took one single fabric and they're like make multiple designs with that fabric this is just the pleated version but I gotta say I don't know what happened I got this more recently than the other one and this is really really big on me to the point where I actually had to take this to my local tailor and have her do her magic to actually fit me because the waist was way too large and also the length was way too long I don't actually reach for this very often I still like this one a lot better than this one what do you guys think do you like this one more or this one oh I'm sweating Next up, we have a green mini plaid skirt. It's really microly plaid. Um, you can only see the pattern if you come really close. If you look at it from afar, it just looks kind of like minty green. I got this from Shein in the summer and I wanted to keep it in my closet because I was like, you know what? I don't have anything that's green and I'm just saving it for a day where I feel really like daring and adventurous, you know, to wear something like this. I think I'm gonna actually donate this because if I haven't touched it in six months, I probably won't ever. Do you guys know what I mean? Like, do you guys do that too? Like a piece of clothing that you have in your closet and you're just like, I'm gonna save for that one day that it's gonna be useful and I'm just gonna like impress the whole world because of how fashion savvy I am but it just never happens a pink pleated skirt that's also plaid um, this one is from PLT I got this in the summer it has a stretchable waistband but the one thing about this that's really like puzzling to me is how there's a side slit that goes all the way almost to the waist okay there's practically just like this much of a waistband and then your leg so I don't know how practical this is for you to be wearing out in the outdoorsy area if you want to like wear this inside you know taking your IG selfies to look cute in filming a TikTok catfishing everyone on the internet you can totally get this one but yeah if you want to actually wear it out I don't suggest it why do I have this I feel like I totally need to just get rid of this in my closet because I have never worn this one since I got it it's also from Shein and I I thought you know it's one of those like really unique things when I first got it I was like oh I can like totally pair this with all my sweaters it's like a houndstooth pattern with pleats and this area here like the waistband portion is so long I think it'll only look cute if you're wearing like a sweater that like covers this thick band portion then our plaid skirt this one's from H&M um, I think it was only like seven dollars or something I wore in this picture here surprisingly it goes with a lot of outfits I would say that something like this and the first brandy one are something that I would reach for again and again just because of how easy it is to pair with everything so next up we have my solid colored skirts so the first one is one of my all-time favorite this is a scalloped trim pink skirt from boohoo i also think i got it like two years ago i want to say like eight dollars like something really really affordable and i gotta say like the quality is amazing for eight dollars because for eight dollars i can't even like get full with like a mcdonald's meal i was not expecting this to be as fine crafted as it is it just looks so classy and like i think it's really really gorgeous to pair with all of your summery outfits Ta -da! next up i have the famous k-pop audition skirt i'm just gonna name these skirts okay these are both from shein and if you have seen my skirt lookbook you'll know that i feature these two quite a bit because i'm freaking in love with them this is exactly what jenny was wearing well not exactly but you guys know what i mean this is like exactly a dupe of what jenny was wearing in solo and the material is like a corduroy material it's perfect for like taking photos or like going to the grocery store i don't know and i thought that the chain would like just like fall apart or like break on me but i've had this for so long and like <gasps> i actually broke it i just broke it so don't be like me and tug on it with all your might maybe not as well made as i thought don't be like me and tug on it i'm gonna fix it 
all fixed. This just a maroon version of the black one. I think there's also like brown and maybe green. I don't know, check the link. I think there's like a lot of different colors. Why is this here? This is not supposed to be in my solid skirt collection, but I actually don't know where to put this. Um, this is just a zebra skirt I got recently from Revolve. When I first got it, I was like not impressed by it because it was so thin. It's lined on the inside, but I don't know why. It just doesn't give me like a very luxurious vibe. After having worn it for like two or three times, I can totally appreciate the fact that the back is longer than the front. So this is awesome for those of you who are blessed with a bubble butt and you guys can't wear skirts because it just like not cover the bottom of your bubble butt. If you get this skirt, you won't have that problem. Um, it's very, very thoughtful and the length is also a very classy length. It's not too short. Oh, and zebra prints are like really in right now. A white skirt. This one actually came with a string tied around the waist area. I don't have the string because I have a problem with losing belts that come with skirts that are not attached or sewn onto the skirt itself because I totally just like lose them. Same with my jackets. But I think this is a really, really unique design for a skirt skirt because it has these two like flaps down here they're not real pockets unfortunately but this skirt is like the skirt to get if you want to create like the really snatched waist and like wide hips ratio this is the skirt for you it just hugs all your curves down to the very very centimeter it is a little bit hard to breathe in here um but i would suggest you to just like size up in between sizes a basic white skirt for all of your basic needs this one is from shein's a little bit on the thin side i don't I don't know if it's see-through. Can you guys let me know if it's see-through? It's extremely short though. It has a linen-y material. This is a knit skirt that <laughs> looks a lot better when you put it on than it does with me just holding it up. With me just holding it up, it honestly just looks like a cloth or a piece of rag, but it looks amazing when you put it on and also it's super stretchy and it's just really amazing to just like throw on in the morning without thinking too much, you know? Especially when you have to look presentable on the top but like you don't have to worry about your bottom, this is the way to go. A white pleated skirt because everyone needs a white pleated skirt. Another white pleated skirt that is thickly Pleated. Oh my god, how do you call this? Okay, so the pleats are thick. They're not skinny pleats So I just call it thickly pleated. This is from Princess Polly and I really like how it is stretchy and not see-through This one is a famous Nike victory tennis skirt that has been sold out Worldwide, I think the only pieces left are the people who have it in their closets and are willing to sell it on secondhand sites like Depop or Poshmark or eBay. I got mine from Depop in the summer when people were still selling it. I'm not sure if they are right now. And I think I paid over $175 for this skirt. Which, I mean, I'm not complaining because it's really just supply and demand. Because they're built in shorts on the inside, this area, like the wedgie area, just like goes so high up, it gives you like <laughs> a wedgie, but for like the front part of your girl parts, <laughs> you guys know what I mean? I don't think the design is very well thought out, but I mean, it's such a huge trend and it looks amazing with all like the collared shirts and the crew necks that you can pair with this, so. I'm willing to overlook that. If you don't want to spend $200 on a Nike Victory skirt, you can also look into this dupe. This dupe is from Shein. It has a little heart here instead of like, you know, the swoosh. But everything else is pretty similar. It's not the same material, not the same design, not have any elasticity. But if you are just wearing something over here, like if you're throwing on like an oversized sweatshirt over here, you won't be able to see that much of a difference. Um, ironically, this one is actually thicker than the Nike one. Um, in terms of material, it's not as flowy. This one is definitely more swishy in the wind. This one is more like rigid. And I'm not a fan of the heart, I will say that. I know that it does come in black as well, so check it out. Another black pleated skirt, this one's from Princess Polly. It did come with a belt, but like always, I don't know where that belt is. Currently, I'm sure it's sitting in a corner somewhere collecting dust waiting for me to like discover it a few years later and be like Aha! That's where the belt was all along. Another black pleated skirt because I'm crazy like that. Who needs that many black pleated skirts in their closet? Like who? Me, apparently. A beige pleated skirt. I have nothing else to say about this skirt except for the fact that it's beige. It just looks like all the other pleated skirts. A gray pleated skirt. So this one is actually from 
theory. I got it from ThreadUp a while back. I got it in a size 4, which H&M, I'm kind of like a 2 slash 4 sometimes. So I thought 4 would be like, you know, like more or less my size. But oh my god, it was so huge. It did not adhere to North American sizing standards at all. I don't know if there's something wrong with Theory's sizing or the rest of the brand sizing in North America. Something is just not matching. And it's very frustrating for paying customers, especially if they're buying online, they can try it on. Anyway, rent aside, got this for like $15. I think the original price was over $200, but I love this. It did not come like this. It was way too big on me. So I had to take it to the tailor again and snip off the extra fabric, but now it looks great. And I like it. Another black slash gray charcoal pleated skirt. <laughs> Oh my god, somebody stopped me. I can't be allowed to shop anymore. So now we're done with those. Let's move on to my faux leather skirts. The first faux leather skirt is this one from Topshop. I actually wore this like a long, long, long time ago because I think I got these three years ago and they are sold out. It's another pet peeve of mine. I don't know why retailers would see something as really popular and it's sold out and they're like, you know what, we're not gonna bring it back. We're just gonna let people be frustrated and like make no money that way. So this is the one that is very, very popular. It has these like four belt thingies on the side and oh, this is from the Topshop Petite section and I got it in a US two. And I have been trying to find a dupe for this skirt for the longest time. Haven't had much luck, so any of you, if you guys have seen a dupe for the skirt, please let me know so I can link it and people can get it. And our faux leather skirt, this one is by Misguided. I actually really, really like this one. First of all, the length is amazing. It's not too short like the Topshop one. This one I'm wearing a size, oh my god, I wear the size zero. I don't know why I picked zero. I'm inconsistent sometimes, you guys. It comes with a belt itself, which I'm very cautious to not lose because I lose all the belts all the time. So I have to really be careful and like belt it up even after I take it off. The pockets here are not real at all. They're, they're just for decoration. This one is more toned down and wearable than this one because you're not like walking around with like so much hardware on your skirt, like intimidating everyone. Another faux leather skirt. This one is also from this guy. Oh, this one feels really buttery and really soft. It is the more trendy type of faux leather skirts these days, which are the pleated kind. It does come with this like belt buckle looking thing, but it is not removable. Thank God. If you want to see more inspo on how to style these type of faux leather skirts, make sure to check out this video right here. Oh, this is a really nice one. This one is just a really simple faux leather skirt. It's from Princess Polly. Um, it has a slit on the side, but otherwise pretty basic, pretty simple, and great for all your like minimalistic looks this winter. Now I have one by Michael Costello. When I first got the skirt, I was really iffy about it. I was like, mm, I don't think it's gonna look that great on me. Like, look at it. It looks so not appetizing to look at. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know skirts can look appetizing. It does to me sometimes. It is ruched or like scrunched up on the sides and at the back. So I thought it would look like I was wearing a wrinkly piece of garbage. But I actually quite like the look on me. What do you guys think? Yay or nay? Is my rash gone now? Woohoo! Next up we have all of my summery skirts. So these skirts are mainly, I don't know, like they're either like the summer color palette or the material is very like chiffon, like very lightweight and just... I don't know why I call them my summer skirts. I guess I only really wear them in the summertime. The first one is this really gorgeous pink wrap skirt from Shopo. Interesting piece of tidbit. I'm actually wearing this skirt in my YouTube profile picture. Yeah, that profile picture is like old AF. Like this is from maybe like three years ago. These two skirts are also like one of my favorite things to wear in the summer. This one's from Storettes and it's actually really, really stretchy flare skirt. It does come so, so flared, especially when you're like walking about and maybe you're like doing a twirl. It does like come all the way out. And the best part is, it has built-in shorts. So yes, it flares a lot, but it's very perf proof. Also anything with an elastic band, I'm just like, this one's the coral version of the white one. I actually don't reach for this too much, but I love the white one so much I needed to have it in another color. Don't know if they still have this one. Um, maybe next summer they'll bring it back. Does this look like a skirt to you? Guys, this almost looked like a bed frill or like a curtain somehow. So this one is from Tula Rosa and it's really, really pretty. It's got this like embroidered like eyelet detail all over. I think it's very summery. And if you lift up the first tier, there's 
second tier. That's the second tier. There's a third part. So it's very well made. There's like all kinds of different layers in here. The only thing about this is that it is quite short depending on how far up your waist you like your skirts to sit. I'm wearing this picture right here and I actually think this is a really good skirt for the awkward transitional weather times, you know, between spring and summer or between winter and spring. The next skirt I got like <laughs> Like a bazillion years ago in Italy, I think I got this in Rome one day when I was just like shopping. Um, it's from a brand Sophie Charlotte. So my Italian viewers, if you're watching this, bellissimo! I love this skirt. It is so gorgeous. It's got like a really, really true navy blue color. The chiffon is just like a really like pretty layer, and then on the inside, it's this like really smooth, silky layer. It also does come. Quite short. I believe this is supposed to be for like juniors or like youth. I get it anyway because you know what? Like I have a fetish for skirts, okay? When I see something I like, I just like disregard the fact that it's made for like people who are younger than me by like decades. A white summery lacy skirt. This one is from Seven Wonders. I actually don't remember getting the skirt, um, but it is really good quality. It's hard to come by to find a white lace skirt that is not see-through at all and like the material used is really good. I think it's 100% cotton so it's very very comfortable to wear and the waistband is also stretchy which is really amazing. This is another one of those skirts where like the back is longer than the front so it's perfect for those of you with bubble butts. Okay the last category is really just maxi slash midi skirts and it's so sad I only have like one of each here. This is a Shein one. It's just like a really pretty gold champagne-y color. It's a midi skirt. The waist is a little bit too big for me. But I still really like the generic design of this. I think it looks really really classy. I think it looks great if you're just wearing it to work or if you're wearing it for like a night out. The last skirt is this one that I've had for ages and ages. I wore it in this picture here and a lot of you guys were asking me where I got it from. I actually got it from ASOS like I want to say like seven years ago. Oh it's actually by Warehouse. So ASOS is just the bigger um, site that you can get it from, but the brand actually is Warehouse. I got this in size 6, I believe it's a UK 6, which translates to a US 2. And it's this really gorgeous, like almost metallic, shimmery, light pink color. It's just so pretty, you guys. Oh my god, if I can find a dupe for this, or if anyone knows if Warehouse still has something like this, please let me know. Okay guys, that is it for my skirt collection. I know that was a huge one, so thank you so much for sticking with me all the way to the end. What number did we get to, you guys? If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what other similar type videos you want to see from me in the future. I've done a similar one for my jeans and also for my boots and now for my skirts. Maybe like a coat slash jacket collection? Let me know in the comments down below. I love you all. Have a great day. Stay happy and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.